guys and um, say hi to Ahan's eyeball. So today I'm here to do a first impressions video and I can't get this kid to play by himself. He's gonna appear. Yeah, it's been really hard to film with this guy because it's summer, he doesn't have school and he also doesn't take naps. So I literally have him all day long. I have no real time to do it. The only time is when I can finally get him to like sit down quietly for like an hour to play by himself but today he just doesn't want to be quiet I'm like peeking over your head like can you move your head a little bit you would just do it just do it but I can't because your head is in the way okay okay see look your head is right there so I can't okay do just say I can't um buy yeah, I don't want a tail and a goat tail he's gonna play with his potato heads <laughs> A full drawer of a bunch of new products right here so I am going to just do a first impression let's start off with the Smashbox for finish primerizer uh, primer and moisturizer in one Ooh, feels really good yes, so I like to apply um, my primer and just kind of let that sink into my skin for a few minutes Okay, so while that's setting, I'm going to use the new uh, ColourPop Brow Boss. Sorry. This is spoolie and pencil in one. It looks just like the Anastasia one, the NYX one. Um, I believe they had this already, right? Uh, I do remember it, it, it working, but it being a little bit too dark, like the black one, and the brown one's a little bit too light for me. So this is soft black. Hopefully it's good. So it's working pretty well. So you could do makeup. Sorry if there's like a, a, a noise in the back. It's a fan. Um, it's just way too hot to film today. Yeah, I'm hot too. I'm seriously hot. <laughs> that is it what is it? it looks really good. And the color is perfect. Like it doesn't look too black at all. It looks really good. So this is definitely better than last. I'm gonna try the uh, Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation in media. By the way, most of these are PR. They sent it to me. Um, I love the packaging. Charlotte Tilbury has really pretty packaging. Um, but yeah, so this is what it looks like. Does it have a pump? It better have a pump if it's no pump. It's that expensive, but it doesn't have a pump. What is this? It's like a. It's not a dropper, really. It's just. Just to distribute it. If I remember correctly, they asked me to choose my um, color, and I don't remember being there being like a really large selection. But this matches perfect. I I, I don't I don't like the applicator. <laughs> it doesn't dry too quickly. And then blend. I really really love the finish of this one. I always get a little angry at myself when I really like expensive products. Cheapness is like, it's just like inside of me, you know? It's how I was raised, it's just, it's what I know. And anything that goes against that hurts me. It makes me question everything. Um, I'm definitely going to be wearing it for a couple hours just to see like how it wears throughout the day. Oh, it does have a pump! <laughs> All this time I open the thing, use the bizarre applicator that it has a pump, you guys. It has a pump. Okay, so that was the one con of it, and that's not even a con. So it has a pump. I apologize. <laughs> oh, wow. Me. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm like loving it even more because I, I just discovered it has a pump. Next, we have the Shade Light Cream Contour product. If you follow me, you know I love the powder version of this. I use it like all the time. So, um, I'm gonna actually just use my fingers and I should probably um, have concealed, but I wanted to see if this works as a concealer. Um, also, but it doesn't seem like it's gonna work as a concealer. Okay, it's a little bit dry. Yeah, it's it's really dry. It's not like it's not that creamy. Yeah, I'm gonna conceal first, and then I'm gonna highlight under. Just use a little bit of my L'Oreal Too Much. No, I'm done. Okay, you want to blend for me? Yeah. I actually really like this combination of the concealer 
over the um the highlighting part because it really looks bright under my eyes do you see let's try the contour part Ooh, that's ooh, that's it's great. I mean, I I want like a cool color, but that's just straight up gray. Okay, what is going on? Ooh, ooh, what is going on here? Did I do something wrong? Oh, it looks so muddy. Let me use my fingers again. I wonder if my brush had something on it. I am so confused right now. Why is it coming out so muddy? I don't, I don't get it. I'm so confused. It's getting so muddy. Yeah. Why? It's I don't know. Maybe, maybe you added too much. You think so? Yeah. These are it, not. It, 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 I, don't, I don't like this. I, mm. I don't know what I've done, but. Mm. It, I, I don't like it. Before I set my powder, I'm gonna use the new Anastasia Liquid Glow. It's not new anymore, but I, I haven't tried it out yet. So this is in Peach Fuzz. I'm gonna apply just a teeniest bit of this. The back of my hand. Okay. Too much. It is nice. Oh, I can't even properly see it because the muddy contour is ruining everything. Ugh. I'm gonna use powder, which is actually really good. Is it turning into muddy? Hmm? Is it turning into muddy? My, my, what, what's wrong? I don't know what's wrong. I don't know what happened. What's wrong with your makeup? I don't know, Bob. Uh, is it getting golden black? This is the new color Pop Brow Boss Gel. Set my brow. Such a cute little. Um, um, so they also came out with press powders, color pop I mean, they have a highlighting and bronzing one. Ooh, let me try this, let's see if I can warm my face up with this one. Ugh, this is just really bugging me out. Ugh. It's like, it is so bad. Is it not working? Yeah, it is working. Okay, this is warming, making me a little bit more warm and not so gray. It should be muddy. They have um, highlighters as well. This looks a little dark. This looks kind of light, but it's fine. It's... Ooh! Oh, that's pretty. So I have this new brush from Milani, Coral Beams Color Harmony. It's okay, I don't really like it actually. I usually love Milani brushes, but I don't like this one. It's like colors swirl together don't really look very good. Okay, and then I'm going to try this Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. Let's move on to eyes. Um, try the Too Faced Glitters, definitely. Okay, so Marc Jacobs sent me like all their new Eye Studio uh, palettes. Yeah, so I'm going to use this green one. This is Editorial. Okay, so I'm just going to apply the lighter shade all over. So I'm going to use um, the brown in my crease. I'm going to use this dark green. I'll put that in the outer green. Use this green right here. The gold in the middle. The gold in the middle. That's so funny. Wow, these colors are so intense and pigmented. They they sent me all the palettes, but I'm not definitely not gonna be using all the palettes. I will be doing a giveaway that includes them. 
So make sure you're following me on my Instagram and YouTube to check out details for that giveaway. I haven't um, come up with the details. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I feel like I add um, eyeshadow so messily, but then I fix it afterwards. Um, so the gold is, the gold is really pretty, but this is, it's not that pigmented. It keeps like kind of disappearing, but let's use the, um, glitter. So I'm going to use the gold one. Wait, okay, unfortunately, <laughs> I changed the color. I didn't want the color change. I'm using totally different colors from the more Jacobs one. These don't even match together. Whatever. But at this point, I'm just winging it. Definitely, I'm more impressed with this one than this. And this is definitely, these are definitely toppers. Um, but I like them. Very pretty. Okay, so this is the Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara, also PR. I absolutely love the packaging. It's so, so freaking pretty. What I like about this mascara, I feel like no matter how many times I apply coats, I just cannot clump it. There's something about this. I think it's because of the bristles. They're like really separated. You just cannot clump it. They separate so well. Unfortunately, it, it doesn't really make them look thicker. It just makes them really separated. You know, like it should lengthen and add volume, but it's not doing that. All it's doing is really separating a lot. Oh man, the packaging is so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Lash Running. Do you guys see the difference? Mm -mm. So pretty though. Okay, um, okay, I have these two Urban Decay liners. I think the purple will look kind of cool. Um, I don't have an eyeshadow to go with that. I guess I have to just blend it out somehow. Okay, um, I'm going to apply these Kiss uh, Faux Mink Collection Lash Couture Lashes on. I cannot wait for like October because I'm going to do my Halloween stuff. Really yeah, but I'm going to do Halloween with you. Want to Halloween with me? And I'll return it. Okay, he wants to be a My Little Pony for Halloween. So while that dries, I'm going to use Bite Beauty um, the Liquified Lip in Marcella. It matches the um, eyeliner on the bottom. So. Ooh, Super impressed. These are really nice. And they feel nice too, they don't feel too um, sticky. Okay, so the lashes actually look really nice. They don't look fake, they look super natural. The only thing is that the band is a little thick, so I think this is definitely something that you can wear with um, winged eyeliner and then the band won't show. Let's do a rundown of um, the products. Primer. This works pretty well. Love how it feels. It definitely feels like a moisturizer and primer in one. Foundation looks really good. Speaking of foundation, this, this. Why am I so clumsy? This is so nice, you guys. This is really nice. I hate, I hate to say that, but this is really, really nice. I am so happy, <laughs> and I'm really happy it comes with the pump. Uh, I love the packaging. It feels luxurious. The color is a perfect match on me. Oops. Color is a perfect match. Why do I look so pretty? Say hi to them. Talk to them. Tell me. Tell, okay. Tell them what you like about my makeup. Which one do you like about my makeup? <laughs> I'm gonna drop too. Tell, tell them what do you like about my makeup? A purple bright lipstick and the golden on your eyes. Do you like my lashes? <laughs> I don't know. 
Contra. I don't know what happened. Oh my god, everything's falling apart. I'm so, so disappointed in this. I don't know what I did wrong. But you guys can even see, right? If you look at it, the when you mix it, it looks darker than the actual product. I don't know what happened with that. I, I don't know. I tried it with a, uh, a brush and I tried it with my clean fingers and it still did the same thing. Um, I gotta say, I'm really disappointed. Oh. What else? The eyeshadow Marc Jacobs. I still have to play around with. Um, I did like this Too Faced glitter one. Did not like Milani, which is really I I like every single one of their blushes, but I did not like this one. I like the color pop bronzer and highlighter. So that's the only thing that kind of saved my bronzer. And I like the brow products. I like I liked everything that I tried from Color Pop. Urban Decay, mm -mm, not really worth it. Um, the glow nice, but I honestly think the uh, sorry the goop on the side of my mouth. Um. Yeah, this glow, honestly, your glow was nice, but I think it was the ColourPop highlighter that really, really made this, like, highlighter pop. The lashes I really like, the Kiss Lashes, Urban Decay Liner, it glided on really well, it's just, I think the color makes me look a little, like, I have pink eye or something. Bite Beauty, this is really nice, it's super pigmented. The Makeup Forever Mist and Fix worked really nicely, it, um, cause that, but right before I applied it, it, I looked a little powdery, but then it just kind of set everything. So, that is it. For my first impression, I hope you guys enjoyed. He's singing in the background. Is this the time to sing, really? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Say bye. <laughs>